Bills at Patriots. Now, this is Monday Night Football, and I gotta tell you, Monday Night Football never disappoints. I thought, eh, this Bengals-Steelers game's probably not gonna be that great, but it's Monday Night Football. Now, man, it, <laughs> it might not have been a hugely close game, although it was a very close game, seven-point game at the end of the game. Oh, that was, that was fun to watch, though. <laughs> I think even Steelers fans have to admit that Juju Smith-Schuster has got to be one of the most hated players in the NFL right now. Like, for God's sakes, dude, just stop dancing on other teams' logos. Like, that's so insulting to a team. Like, imagine you put all this effort into this one team, right? It's your team. You love them like brothers. And then the thing... So, like, instance, you're a family, right? You have a family crest. Now, sometimes you hate your family, sometimes you love your family, right? You really want to make the family as best as you can possibly do, right? So you keep trying hard on doing this family stuff, right? And then some random person comes over, throws your family crest on the ground, and then starts doing TikTok dances on it. Would you be happy with them? I, I have to say probably not. The logo is like the family crest for this team, because if you think about it, a lot of NFL teams are kind of like a family, because they spend so much time with each other, really, literally day in, day out. They play so much. They probably all know each other's families. Uh... Monday Night Football is always a great game, though. Uh, uh, whoever's been picking Monday Night Football games this year deserves a race, as I said before. I'm not as certain on this one. Uh, but, I mean, Monday Night Football guy picked it, so who knows. Uh, I think the Bills are a better football team than Patriots right now. Bills are pretty healthy. I think they're getting John Brown back this week. I could be wrong about that, but don't quote me on it. But I feel like John Brown's coming back this week after the injury. Uh, he, if you don't know, John Brown's a huge impact to that team. He smoked Brown. He's their speed guy. Uh, he's so important. And with him, you have a great three-headed monster. Do we take away Stephon Diggs? Do we take away John Brown? Or do we take away Cole Beasley? Because we can't take away all three. And then I'm I'm going to be interested to see how the ground game starts getting going near the playoff time. Because it's getting close. And i got to be honest, you can't put it all on Josh Allen's arm. Devin Singletary and Zach Moss have to step their game up. And I think this is a game where they can do it. you got to be able to run the ball. And Dolphins showed that they could run. you can run it very well against the Patriots. Maybe this can spark something. 120 yards for my, Salvin Ahmed. Uh, 80 yards for Matt Breida. I think Devin Singletary and Zach Moss are both better than those guys. So, got to get the run game going. This is, in my opinion, a tune-up game for the Bills to get ready for playoff time. I think they're probably going to get the two-seed right now as it stands. Uh, I think it's likely get the, they get the two-seed. I don't think it's possible they get the one-seed. Uh, but I feel like, find it likely they get the two-seed here which means they could be playing the Dolphins or the Ravens first round. Very important that you keep working fine-tuning some stuff, because the Dolphins have a very good defense, so do the Ravens. They're both scary team come playoff time, but I'm pretty sure I think the Bills are going to win this one. I love Josh Allen. I'm putting all my money on Josh Allen's arm every day of the week. I love Josh Allen. Give me the Bills to win this one in a blowout. Although, I don't know, because the Monday Night Football games are always close, but I'm going to go, and this one is not close. Give me Josh Allen and the Bills to destroy Cam Newton and the Patriots.